they are moving right through this demo phase. I swooped in so fast, they walked away. I, I like, saw you. I was like, oh my God, I've never seen the camera that fast. <laughs> I want to put another lantern over here. Really styled up the collar. You want the leather oh, chair, he said. The solo. It's reminding me of last year in Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. It's early. We've been having early days because the contractor and his men get here around eight. So I unlock everything and I open everything up at eight o'clock for them. Uh, so that requires us to be up, move our cars out, you know, open where they're gonna be working and stuff. It's been several early morning days uh, and also very loud days. I mean, construction, when you're demoing and stuff is loud and it's like in our house and we're living here still, you know? And I love every second of it. The only thing that I would love more is if it were me with the crowbar, truly. That would be the only <laughs> Thing that would make it all better if I could actually <laughs> be the one demoing, but I know I can't. It's okay. It's it's really okay. There are going to be a lot of projects and demo days in my lifetime. It just doesn't happen to be this project because I'm pregnant, and that is that and that is truly okay. I'm I'm coming to terms with it. So they are moving right through this demo phase. Just making lots of decisions and I've been trying to like get myself a little presentable before they get here because I don't know who's gonna be coming with them. It could be like, I don't know, the engineer again. It could be someone to talk about doors or cabinetry and trying to get myself a little presentable. Like McKenna, like brush your hair and brush your teeth and <laughs> do your skincare at least. So that's what we're, do we're doing today. I think they're just like continuing to work. I see some bags of concrete. They're probably working on the brick outside today, uh, they have, I'm not kidding you, they have been so clean. Like they clean up as they go, which totally makes sense. But like, even from experience, my own experience, <laughs> the cottage, we would not really clean as we would go. We would finish the project or we would have, you know, like extra drywall or something that was like kind of put outside. And then, and then when the project, that phase was done, then we would handle all the trash. But I think, you know, especially because we're living here, they have just been the most respectful, most kind night. Like they're just, they're really good. I'm very happy with the speed and just how they're handling everything. And it's just, it's such a contrast. And I don't know if it was because it was COVID when I was working on the cottage in combination with being in a small town that's just further out of a big city, but like I never could depend on anyone to do anything when they said they were gonna do. If they said that they were gonna show up that day, at that time, it probably wasn't that day or that time. And then you'd have to hound people and almost beg them to come because no one wanted to come out there. I mean, I'm even having trouble just finding someone to mow the lawn regularly. <laughs> Like just during the summer, like where are the kids that want like, <laughs> some some extra money? Like we had a lot of, there was a lot of obstacles in Texas, truly. And there still seems to be, but you know, that's a great town to like retire and take care of your own yard. I just don't, don't happen to be in that phase of my life. And I am loving the speed and efficiency of what's happening here. I love that we hit the ground running. I love that we're gonna have this done before the baby comes. Love just being in a project that's major like this because I've, you know, just been working on like makeovers and things in the house. So it hasn't been like this, like exposed walls and windows being removed. And it kind of gives me life, you guys. Like it is, like it's like an addiction. Like I love it. It's so much fun. I kind of know how my mom feels. Like my mom and my dad, like, you know, working on a house, living there for a little while and flipping it and doing it again. Like I, I kind of understand it now that I'm getting older and I'm more in that space, you know? Today should be another great productive day. It is good that they don't, uh, they just work Monday through Friday. They just, they don't work on the weekends. So this weekend um, I'm gonna take the time to kind of rest honestly and take the break when they take the break. Maybe we go to the Rose Bowl. I don't know, flea markets, the Rose Bowl. The, what is Rose Bowl this weekend? I don't know, you know me and the Rose Bowl. But since we've been going back to the Rose Bowl, I found like one to two solid pieces 
that's kind of like all I need. <laughs> the days kind of start to get away from me. So I'm just trying to get myself together now. Get ready, take my vitamins. A big thank you to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. I have been taking their prenatal vitamins since right before I got pregnant because we were trying. So I started taking them early. And before that I was taking their women's essential multivitamin 18 plus. Love them, I've loved Ritual for years now. Ritual's prenatal vitamin has everything on the list that my doctor wants me to take while pregnant. I take two of these capsules a day and there are two different flavors. A big thing about Ritual that I do love is their capsules and they're larger on the larger side. And so when you take larger pills, it's so nice when they're like easier to digest, you know, to, to go down, to drink down. And Ritual CEO actually couldn't find a prenatal that she really trusted, so she made her own. These vitamins that you take while you're pregnant are so important. You wanna make sure that you have everything that you need and the baby needs to grow and be healthy. Ritual is the first prenatal made traceable. They tell you where every ingredient comes from directly on their website. You can trace everything because not all vitamins and prenatals are treated equally. They're not all the same. So the fact that they're incredibly transparent about where their ingredients come from for their vitamins is so, so important. And it's designed to be gentle on your stomach so you can take it with or without food, which is so great in your first trimester if you're kind of nauseous and sick like I was my first trimester. These are so, so good. And it's a subscription service, so they come straight to my door so I never run out. So I highly recommend if you haven't tried out Ritual either for their prenatal or any of their other vitamins because I do have a code for you guys. You can get 25% off with my code XO25 at checkout and I'll leave the link in the description box for you guys to check it out. And I love it. So I I think I look a little more um, presentable. They should be getting here in like, maybe like, you know, like 15 minutes or so. It's probably gonna be a crazy, noisy day. So I think they're gonna be working out here today. We're also gonna pick all of this up. <laughs> it's probably tomorrow. We're gonna work outside tomorrow. I wanna put another lantern over here. Right here on this column, I'm just gonna like trim some of the trees back so it can get enough sun because it's solar powered. I have two more of these. I ordered them when we did the outdoor makeover, uh, but they got lost. Two of them arrived and two of them got lost. They went back and they had to reship them. So like, like a week and a half later, they finally came. So I have two more. I wanna put one there because I think that's the only other spot back here that will actually get the light from the sun. So, cause they're solar powered. I love them. They don't put off a ton of light, but it's a really nice light at night and it lights up this wall pretty well. Like you can see, but it's not like super bright or anything. Uh, I think anything like solar powered isn't like super, super strong. I love these lanterns. I, they're, I got them at Lowe's. I'll leave them uh, linked if you're gonna be working on any outdoor projects. These are great and want some light like this. And it just like really styled up the column does it like that looks so good <laughs> uh, so i have one more here and then i want to put one in the front on the front patio where they're doing all of this work inside after they're finished i'm going to put one out there we don't have i guess i could have them put power out there um but these are just the same i, I mean I, might, I already have the the solar light might as well just use it totally fine so it looks like they're gonna be working on this section because they put this grid kind of like rebar down. Uh, this helps the concrete stay in place and grab onto so it eliminates cracking and things like that. And then they've got the quick crate. So they're gonna be mixing this up. I think they just have to bring material like bricks to actually use. These might be samples or these might be pieces that they chunked off. That's just gonna look so good and my house isn't gonna flood. And the underneath of the, the underneath of the house isn't gonna flood. It's, it's all good. Come on, Kinsley, come on. You don't go there yet. There's no step. Come on. Come on. Tree tree. God, I swear you have to bribe her to get her inside. Come on. I hear I hear a car. I think they're I think they're getting here. Sunday guys, it's Rose Bowl Sunday. I didn't contemplate not coming, but it is a really pretty day. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's just something fun to do <laughs> on Sundays. But there are tons of people here. Like, 
we lost an hour, so today's daylight savings. So it's, it's 9 a.m. right now, but you know, it obviously feels like eight, but there are oh, so many people are here already. It's wild. Oh. <laughs> I know we got so we smart. we did some things we've we've come here so we haven't ever done this but we've come here so often that we know kind of the position of the Rose Bowl so we were able to cut off the entire entrance line for cars by coming up the back way we probably would have been sitting there we for see, at least 45 minutes an hour yeah it's I don't even know if you I don't even know if they can see like it's well nine o'clock is like general admission kind of thing so people don't want to the pay price the, bird. the price drops at 9 a.m. still it's still a lot though it's still twelve dollars that twelve dollars oh a I gotta cardio. get the tickets they don't do paper tickets anymore oh, it's yeah. all digital let's see what we can find looking for a changing table and there's these people that are looking at this perfect cabinet and they won't walk away i feel like this has happened to me a couple of times today they are taking forever to decide and they won't walk away so that i can swoop in because you can't let them know that you're interested because then that adds more value to it and they just won't walk away i'm so frustrated baby where are you going Oh, it's just, just a picture. They just won't walk away. They're still there? Yes. And they're like trying to contemplate and I'm like, I make up my mind really fast. Don't look, Don't look at him. Don't look at him. You're going to give it away. No. <laughs> no, you're okay? <laughs> I got it. It's so beautiful. The drawers open really well. And then also we can put basket. We can store everything for the baby underneath. You know, I love all the detail. It's from the 20s. Really? It's gorgeous. But the drawers like open really well. That's what I was concerned about with an old one, but it's perfect. <laughs> I did not want to give away that I was interested because that makes it so much more valuable. I mean, it, I know. <laughs> Romeo kept looking over there. I'm like, don't look at that. Don't make it obvious. I felt like he, they, they were asking, like, oh, if you had interest in it. I heard their whole spiel. Like, the, I got they got the measurements. They did it all. And a lot of people have been looking at that. But that's a gorgeous piece. Excited? Yeah, it's the perfect size. 36 inches wide, which is exactly what we needed for Nobody wanted it. the changing table. It's most changing pads are 16 inches deep. That's actually a little this over, it's like 15 and a quarter. Okay. We're so. like three quarters of an inch away from it being the perfect, and it's going to sit away from the wall just a tad. Yeah. I think it's going to be perfect. Yeah. And then we'll just like secure the baby changing mat, like um, pad on top and we can store everything underneath. I didn't want there to be any dead space in the cabinet. I wanted to be able to use a lot, utilize it all for storage for diapers, wipes, burp cloths, you know? Then of course we have the closet that's right next to it that we can use for things that we don't need access to a lot. I have this adrenaline rush right now. <sighs> Hey, I swooped in so fast, they walked away. I, I like, saw you. I was like, oh my god, I've never <laughs> seen a cat move that fast. <laughs> I was like, did they buy it? They were like, no. I was like, I want it. Period. I mean, it does feel good. No, it fits in your car, totally. No, no, no. I know. If oh. like, but like, the space that we had. From we here, had 38 inches. From where you wanted, from the crib? From the crib to the curtain. Was 36. 36 and like a half. So there's gonna be like an inch. It'll be cute though. I think it'll look cute in there. That's a cutie. Oh, this is like, oh, Are we sorry, passing stuff? Oh no, it's good this way. Really? Oh, that's why. What are you looking at here? 
You are you looking at that alien? No, that's like Mars. Like I need to get Look how beautiful this piece of art is. I actually think I've looked at it a couple of times. It's really pretty. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, they're from the 1980s. Have you ever heard of a designer called Pierre Du? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. okay. And that was like Carmel to get them to get it. And you. Okay, Romeo just had a really good idea. Even if it feels too cramped in that little sleeping area of the nursery. We also have an entire another wall. Okay, entire another wall that's um, between the entrance to the room and the closet door. So it could go there, it fits there, it would fit there perfectly. It could totally go there. And I think the important thing is just that we have um, stock of things to change the baby so you don't walk away from the baby. That's the goal, right? And so anything that won't fit in the drawers up top will fit in the cabinet underneath. It's literally, I wasn't going home about it. Like that's, it was like I was fighting for it silently. I was stalking it from the aisle. It's a pretty little frame. How gorgeous this frame is. I love weird shaped frames like this. Okay, I'll be right back. I don't like the water damage. It's old though. It's pretty. Just to give that thing some fight. You know what I mean? Like a. Uh, yeah, I was say, find a fast bill. I've been looking for months. I was gonna look, they usually have some like um, plant vendors that are here from nurseries, but they still don't have a lot of, they have a lot of succulents, a lot of hardier stuff, but they still don't have any of the things that I'm kind of looking for. So probably this month is when they're gonna have a lot more plants at the nurseries. The house, like one in the living room. You want the leather chair, like, he like said. the solo one. I know. It would just block where you take pictures. Does you need it? You don't care? <laughs> you want a leather chair. We saw so many leather chairs in Paris that were like obviously gorgeous, but. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like I could think in this chair. You could think in this yeah, chair? Like you're the thinking man of, yeah, in this chair? Oh, you're gonna brainstorm. Yeah. Walking back to the car so that we can go pick up. We have to go to like the loading zone to pick up the the cabinet uh did not there's so many people here it made it really hard to film anything um so you guys didn't get to walk kind of with us but i showed you like the highlights it's definitely gonna fit it's only three foot what we can't fit is four foot <laughs> we've tried oh maybe i have to like tuck in first time huh? oh, okay let's see yeah yeah Guys, a new day. I have some news. <laughs> welcome to <laughs> welcome to the garage. I want to show you the cabinet that I bought. But today I went for my two hour glucose test and I had to fast last night. So I started fasting around like 8 p.m. That was like when we had dinner, 8 p.m. Uh, so I was gonna get to, you know, the, the doctor's office around eight, nine o'clock to do my test. I got there actually a little later because we had some the contractors show up and we were like walking through and stuff um, and so I got there we took my blood I took the drink and about 50 minutes after I drank the drink I started to pass out <laughs> it has been a day <laughs> um, so I came out of it really quickly it's just I think it's just the fasting we won't know anything concrete until in the morning when we get the test results back they were so attentive to me and i just like i got overheated i started seeing black so i didn't fully pass out but i started seeing black spots everyone sounded like they were underwater um you know like it could have been i mean i, I hadn't had any food or water for almost 14 hours so it was quite a long time I'm obviously not used to that especially with a baby and stuff and oh, it was just a lot so i've been through the ringer this morning honestly um i hope my results come back for the I don't, I don't we don't know but i came out of it like within a minute like it was 
I, they cooled me down. They wheeled me back. I laid down. I felt better on my own. I got some color back and stuff. And I, the last thing I wanted to do was do this test again and have to fast again and do all of that. So we talked to the doctor and we just determined that I just had one more blood draw. So we went ahead and uh, went forward with it because I was feeling a lot better, like normal. It was like, I felt not, not normal all of a sudden and then totally normal all of a sudden. It was just like a lot, you know? So we shall see how that all of the test results um, come back for my glucose levels and stuff and like just don't know we're back I'm feeling great. We were we ate they gave me crack like we finished the test We got through the test gave me crackers right away water. We were we were back in business. We went and ate lunch We're back in business. I feel totally normal now. It's just a little like spell just a little pat <laughs> Just a little morning pass out session. Anyways, I want to show you this cabinet that I got that I'm very excited about. We're gonna move it up because um, I wanna do like another update on the baby's nursery when um, I get the curtains. I'm still waiting on the curtains. They were gonna take like 45 days or something, a long time. Look how cute this cabinet is. It is so cute. Let me show you. I am so excited about it. I mean, I was even thinking, I was like, it's so cute. Like I, I know how hard it is to come by this like, specific raw wood with good drawers that doesn't it's not a piece of furniture that feels overly dilapidated i've had to diy furniture just to look like this it's so stinking cute i am so excited this is actually from a vendor at the rose bowl that i look at every time because they're pretty much the only vendor there that has more French style or more Victorian furniture. Really the most common furniture is more mid-century modern at the Rose Bowl. So it's, it's kind of hard to come by, but I look every time, but most of their stuff is painted. And I always want, you know, like my furniture to be like the, the real wood, like the raw wood or a beautiful stained wood, you know, like a, a combination of that. But what I loved is that the, the drawers open so smooth. And sometimes when you get an older cabinet, because they don't actually have like drawer slides, they're not on rollers, you know, it's just wood in there. Sometimes they just don't, they're just not as smooth. They're just not, you know, it's kind of like hard. And I just, I didn't want something to be a hindrance. Um, I didn't want it to be difficult for us to get things out for the baby. Uh, so we have the two drawers up top, which I think are definitely too shallow for diapers and things. So it would have to be like wipes and burp cloths and things like that. But in the cabinet part, put a new magnet system. So it works really well. And it's just see two shelves and there's no center piece. I can put like baskets, you know, that come out. Things can be stacked. We can organize this part however we need to hold diapers and, and all the essentials that we need. And it's all like together. So we're gonna do an update video for sure on the nursery when we get all the final pieces. Um, and then the nursery is going to be ready for baby but yeah today has been um a lot so i'm just gonna get this video live for you guys and rest for the rest of the day i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog uh we have a very like makeshift little kitchen this is where the guys that are demoing eat their lunch and stuff which totally works in the garage they wrapped up for today because i think this is a gathering material kind of day uh so they were just here this morning but moving right along i can't wait to show you part one on sunday so make sure you subscribed over on my other channel you're following along with the kitchen reno series and just doing lots of fun projects and i'm really excited officially 27 weeks pregnant today and still doing projects in a way that i can <laughs> bye guys <laughs>